All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out. I'm sitting out here in my shop and I just mounted this guy right here. Now, this is a true Atlas bipod and it is absolutely awesome. He's backed up by this American Defense QD attachment, which, by the way, goes along with that guy right there. I love American Defense products. But anyway, Atlas, they make the best bipods. Now, I'm a, either an Atlas fan or a Harris fan. There's another one out there that I might have to get involved in. But in any case, one of the things I want to do this week, not only just do a, a real good review on this particular bipod, but I've got some other ones. They're kind of knockoffs that you get off of Amazon. One you may have seen in Instagram where I was just, I was so upset at that thing, I just started beating it up. And well, you know what? It shows. So anyway, we're gonna show you the differences between this guy and the knockoff that you can get on Amazon. So let's go ahead and put this guy away. And yes, my shirt is on inside out because I've here's a logo here. I don't need anybody to be seeing. So California, look at this. Is this California compliant? I guess not. Uh, and there are a couple different reasons why. One is, well, that right there, that's not a muzzle, that's a muzzle brake. It's not a, not a flash hider. Uh, what else? Oh, um, it's just what an AR-15, which pretty much makes it illegal <laughs> in the state of California. So. I got an email the other night from a good friend of mine, uh, Razor, and Razor informed me that he got an email and it was a link from Cowguns, and Cowguns was out there, and the reason I didn't jump on this right away is I wanted to vet the story. Well, I have so many people going, you need to see this, you need to see this, you need to see this, you need to report on this. Well, I'm going to report on what I have heard thus far. I'm not calling Wolf yet, because I all I've heard is from a couple other channels, you know, you've got... Uh, uh, the guy out there in California. Oh my God, jeez. Uh, what's his name? Got a beard. Really nice. Good channel. Uh, and then you've got Jared over there, uh, Guns and Gadgets. So they've both reported on it. I was uh, actually wanting to hold back for a few minutes just to, to validate and vet the story. But let's just do it anyway. All right, so here's the deal. Supposedly the DOJ, the California Department of Justice, is setting up in uh, several communities or maybe just one. I'm not sure. I can't find any other information on it. And they are pulling all the registration uh, notes, I guess, each registered firearm in that area. And they're going through and they are determining who had at least at one time uh, a firearm that was, well, one of these evil, 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 evil firearms. And they are going to that door and they're knocking on it and say, hey, we want to check out your firearm and see the status of what you've got. Is it compliant? Is it not compliant? And from what I understand, talk, uh, listening to the California guy out there, God, I'm embarrassed. I can't remember. I love his channel. Uh, he said that they're going so far as to analyze muzzle brakes. Is it a muzzle brake? Does it have any uh, attributes that could contribute to it being a flash hider? And at that point in time, you've got a uh, prosecutable offense. Guys, the point of this video is not necessarily the whole thing about them going door to door. I think we all saw the writing on the wall when it was going to happen. What's the purpose of registering a firearm? Well, we just think that it's, it's, it's good common sense that we know who has what out there because if a crime happens, how do we not know? You know, you have to register your car. Well, no one's coming to my, my house to confiscate my car or... Even better, no one is creating a new law today where my firearm was legal yesterday and now it's not legal today and saying, oh, we just found out or realized, per this registration right here, that you registered as firearm and it's no longer legal. Um, hmm, do you still have that or you have you removed it? Because if not, well, gosh, ooh, we're going to take you to jail. So here's the danger. One is... Uh, it's a slippery slope. You don't want to overreact. At least I don't want to overreact right now. And But unfortunately, it is who we are. We are gun owners. And if anybody wants to come and take our guns or even act as though they are going to try to take our guns, well, we overreact. And for just cause. Because we love the ability to, well, defend ourselves. Secondly, this is a legally purchased firearm. And because some jackass down in San Francisco or Los Angeles decides, hey, you no longer need that gun, we're going to come get it because it's not no longer legal. And that is where the confiscation comes in. Does it make sense? 
makes good common sense to me that these jackasses are trying to come and take our guns. And this is why registration is dangerous. Because at any one point in time, they can say that bump stock at one point in time was legal. It's not legal now, but had you registered that legal, that bump stock that you legally bought, if there was some type of registration form that you had to fill out that was kept on file, guess what? They know who you are, where you are, and how you are. And they can come to your house and they can go, hey, do you still have that? Now, here's the deal. Somebody comes and knocks on your door, they can't just come into your home. And like uh, the California guy, God, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, put the notes down below. I, I, damn it. Like he said, get a lawyer. Hand them the lawyer's information or just say, you need to speak to my lawyer. Let them figure out who that is. Okay? Do not ever allow someone into your home. Now, like he said, if they've got a warrant, they're just going to come in. They're not going to wait for you to knock or answer your door. Or they may wait if, you know, if they know you're a good, sensible citizen. And that's the problem. Most of the majority of the people out there are good, sensible citizens who have nothing to hide. But because the government turned them into a criminal, that's not good common sense. So anyway, that's all my take is on this thing. We'll, we'll see how it pans out in the next couple of days. I want to vet the story. I want to make sure that it's actual and not somebody overreacting. Uh, it, I, I, as much as I want to negate it, nothing... <laughs> nothing is uh, goes beyond anything I can ever imagine but uh, that being said let me know what your thoughts are down below registration may not lead to a thing called confiscation but it will lead to them making the firearm that you have currently illegal tomorrow hence for making you a criminal that's it my take on it. It's Good Boy 32. You support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform. 24-7. For our freedom. Freedom comes in 556. Five, hey, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share, subscribe, and all that other neat jazz. I think I'm about a couple subscribers away from 50 grand. That's unfathomable. And I'd like to give a quick shout out to my nephew, who is finishing up his fourth week at the uh, PLC or OCS training in Quantico. Hurrah! Marine Corps, Semper Fi. Let's go to Boy 32. Out.